Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to add interfaces to VLANs. What is a VLAN? Without any VLANs configured, all terminals connected to a switch are in a broadcast domain. Broadcast packets sent by any terminal are sent to all other terminals on the LAN. This not only wastes bandwidth, but also compromises network robustness and security. VLAN technology allows you to divide a physical LAN into multiple virtual LANs. Each of these VLANs is a broadcast domain. This means that broadcast packets are confined to terminals within the same VLAN. How can we assign VLANs? Switches support two types of links, access and trunk links. Access link, a link that directly connects a switch to a terminal. In this case, the interfaces of the link are access interfaces and are added to the default VLAN. When receiving a packet, an access interface adds a VLAN tag to the packet and sends the packet to other interfaces in the same VLAN. When sending a packet, an access interface removes the VLAN tag and sends the packet to a terminal, which cannot identify the VLAN tag. Trunk link, a link that directly connects a switch to another network device. The interfaces of the link are configured as trunk interfaces and allow packets from multiple VLANs to pass through. When receiving a packet, a trunk interface checks the VLAN tag of the packet and only allows the packet to pass through if it belongs to an allowed VLAN. When sending a packet, the trunk interface sends it to the peer device without adding or removing the VLAN tag. How can we add interfaces to a VLAN? Let's take a look. First, click the desired project to access the project details page. Choose configuration, device configuration, switch. For an interface connected to a terminal. Select the target interface, set link type to access, and enter the VLAN ID. Click OK. For an interface connected to a network device. Select the target interface, Set link type to trunk, and enter the IDs of allowed VLANs. Click OK. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.